not have a factory in each district. The progress that has been achieved in industrializing Ghana by President Akufado's government is remarkable in the history of the Fourth Republic. This is the most determined push to achieve an industrial economy for Ghana since President Nkrumah. Ghanaians, particularly the youth, must vote for this determined effort to secure for ourselves and our country an industrialized economy that produces and sells for both exports and the local market. Chocolate instead of cocoa beans, gold trinkets and ornaments instead of the raw metal, aluminum ingots instead of bauxite, cassava and potato chips alongside the raw cassava and the raw potato, yam chips alongside the raw yam, processed pepper alongside the raw pepper, canned tomatoes alongside the raw tomato, fragrant rice alongside the unprocessed raw rice. The effects of 1D1F and President Akufado's efforts to industrialize the country are beginning to show. As of July 2020, 139,331 jobs have been created, comprising 18,811 direct jobs and 120,520 indirect jobs. When you look at the country's response to COVID-19, the materials, the, the, the face masks, uh, I'm sure 90% of the face masks that we all of us use are produced in the country. The personal protection equipment, those heavy clothing that have to be used by health personnel, I'm sure most of them are now being produced in the country. So that response alone shows you that the industrial capacity is being strengthened. <laughs> 